Hello Oracles! Oracle Tim here from Oracle Investments. Today we are going to discuss part three of Tesla's exponential growth potential explained. Just as a reminder, these are just my predictions and my thoughts and insights as to what I can see in the future. Do not hold me to this. I'm not a financial advisor, so the numbers I put on here are just my projections and how I am personally playing the potential growth of the company. Today we're going to discuss 2026 and 2027. Well, in 2026, we're going to see the two new factories that were announced in 2025 beginning ramp, and that would leave us with eight factories total. And this would leave us with a total vehicle production capacity of 12 million vehicles. And if uh, full autonomy level five gets legalized in 2025, we can see robo taxis beginning to hit the streets in 2026. And while this in itself is pretty awesome, what ends up making the huge difference in this is the fact that just like with Hertz currently putting butts in seats and getting people to buy Teslas, when butts get in the seats of robo taxis, they will see the benefits of FSD. And so then we're going to get more people purchasing FSD. 2026 is also the year that we see the nail in the coffin for many of the ICE manufacturers, and that is the $18,000 vehicle will be announced by Tesla. And also at this point, we've seen the semi-truck growing over the years, but this is where major shipping companies are going to start adopting the Tesla semi into their fleets. And this here is also the turning point year where the majority of vehicles on the road are going to be EVs. And we'll see about a 60% EV adoption rate. And due to the fact that we will have a majority of EVs on the roads, we are going to see just as many charging stations as we see gas stations. And sometimes they're going to be hybrid gas station charging stations. Other times they're going to be just pure stations. And I think because of this, a lot of these new charging stations are going to have Tesla Solar built in with it. So you'll have Tesla Solar and Tesla charging stations all built into one, and that's gonna increase the energy revenue to $4 billion. And at this point, insurance is going to be in about 90% of the US. And so with energy booming, with robo taxis coming out, FSD building, our margins are going to be around 42%. And this will take the stock price up to $300, which is $7,500 pre both splits. And now we move on to 2027. In 2027, we will see two more factories announced and two factories getting expanded. Um, this number could change. They may do one every year. Uh, it kind of depends. It looks like if all factories are going with 2 million as production cap each, um, you know, we're looking at a need for about 10 factories total for Tesla's goal of 20 million vehicles produced a year in 2030. So this is a good pace to stay on to get there. And at this point in 2027, I see total vehicle uh, production capacity at 15 million vehicles. And just like we see today, I see robo taxi revenues blowing away all expectations and people are just mind blown by the amount of money and revenue that the robo taxis are bringing in and how much they're well adopted. And in 2027, we'll see the $18,000 vehicle begin production. And they're gonna have two different versions. They'll have one without a steering wheel, which will be designed for robo taxi fleets, and the other one with a steering wheel for people who do still wanna drive and don't have a robo taxi. And at this point, EVs are really just taking over. You're seeing less and less ICE vehicles. EV adoption rate will be at about 70%. And at this point, you're really not going to see gas stations much anymore, at least not pure gas stations. They're pretty much all gone. If you find one, it's gonna be rare. Uh, every gas station will have a charging station. And if it does not, um, it's because you live in some remote area of the world that doesn't even know EVs exist. And this is the year that competition for Tesla starts to get squeezed out. And we will see our first legacy automotive maker go under. Let me know in the comments below who you think will be the first legacy automotive maker to go under. We will also see insurance in about 95% of the states in the U.S. Um, and it, wouldn't, it would be all of them, but there are some states who are just going to be stubborn and hold out because that's how they operate. This is also going to be a huge year for Tesla energy. I can, can, I can see entire towns beginning converting over to Tesla energy. Um, you know, there's here in the States, we have, you know, massive energy companies, and then we have some towns who do it localized just themselves. And I can see in the future that we're going to have some towns who do that 
but it's going to be with solar and with Tesla energy rather than with electricity as we know it today. And with that, we're going to see energy revenues well over $5 billion and, uh, and pushing even higher because just like with the butts and seats, the more people who are like, oh, I like this kind of power, it's much more reliable, it's much cleaner, more people and individuals are going to convert, more towns are going to see the benefits and they'll start converting as well. And so margins are gonna start pushing about 45%. Energy is a very profitable business to be in for solar. So I can see at that point with uh, the massive inclusion of that, that's gonna be taking off. Robotaxi and FSD revenue is gonna be way up. Insurance revenue is gonna be way up. So with that, I, I can definitely see 45% margins in 2027. And so at the end of 2027, I predict that the stock price will be about $400 and that'll be $10,000 pre-splits. So that would be almost a 10x from where we are today in just the next six years. Let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed, if you think I'm askew anywhere. Um, as I stated in uh, part one, as we get later down the road, there's a wider range of variants that could potentially happen with Tesla. You know, a lot of different factors involved. So I'm kind of erring on the, I try to go in the middle because um, I can go super high and say, you know, Tesla could be worth $20,000 at this point. And I could be even more conservative and say it could be worth 5,000. So I try to run it right in the middle for myself um, based off of my, my valuations. And so I think middle of the road base case is about 10,000 for the stock price. Um, but definitely uh, your thoughts in the comments, let me know below uh, if I missed anything. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Like this video and sign yourself up for notifications so that you'll be reminded for when the next part of this series comes out. Uh, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much, and we will see you later.